Hey everyone, today I'm going to be reading two poems from Shane McPainey, um, and I'm probably not pronouncing it very well. Um, I'm not sure if it's Haney or Henny, so sorry about that, but I know it's Seamus. And the first one I'll be reading is called Scaffolding, which is a nice one. Okay. So scaffolding. Okay. Where? Hold on. Okay. Masons, when they start upon a building, are careful to test out the scaffolding. Make sure that planks won't slip at busy points, secure all ladders, tighten bolted joints, and yet all this comes down when the job's done, showing off walls of sure and solid stone. <laughs> this cat, he literally just jumped on the table. <laughs> I should have booted him out of here. Okay. Okay, we're over. And yet all this comes down when the job's done, showing off walls of sure and solid stone. So if my dear, there seem, sometimes seem to be old bridges breaking between you and me, Never fear. We may let the scaffolds fall, confident that we have built our wall. Okay, and then the other one I'll be reading is... Where did it go? Ah, here you go. Where did it go? Had it? I found it. I found it. Okay. So the second poem I'm reading is called Digging. Okay. So here we go. Between my finger and my thumb, the squat pen rests, snug as a gun. Under my window, a clean rasping sound when the spade sinks into gravelly ground. My father, digging. I look down till his straining rump among the flower beds bends low, comes up 20 years late away, stooping in rhythm through potato drills where he was digging. The coarse boot nestled on the lug. The shaft against the inside knee was levered firmly. He rooted out tall tops, buried the bright edge deep to scatter new potatoes that we picked, loving their cool hardness in our hands. By God, the old man could handle a spade, just like his old man. My grandfather cut more turf in a day than any other man on Toner's bog. Once I carried him milk in a bottle, corked simply, sloppily with paper. He straightened up to drink it, then fell to fell to right away, nicking and slicing neatly, having sods. Sorry, heaving sods. So, there you go. There's a second poem there. Um, and Seamus Haney is known for his his poems of just the simple everyday life of Irish farmers and just whatever people are up to. Um, there's another one called The Nod, and it's talking of uh, it's about I haven't read that one fully yet, but it starts off in a butcher shop and talking about different things. So. I will definitely be reading some more Seamus Henry poems on here, but I'm just going to start with two today. So I hope you enjoyed and you have a great week.